the homunculus, a human born through alchemy. Confined to live their lives within the glass in which they are made, they were said to hold infinite knowledge of all things. Very few alchemists invested their time into the research and development of homunculi, and many found the pursuit to be a waste of time. Homunculi were simply an idea humanity cooked up in their hubris, thinking they had the power to circumvent the laws of the universe. But there was one alchemist who spent her entire life chasing their actualization. Countless days, innumerable theories, thousands of failures. Even when she did discover a working method, her homunculi were frail things. Dying after mere hours at first, she was able to stretch those hours into days, weeks, and finally years. Then at last, her most perfect creation was born. It was highly intelligent and immediately capable of communication. Its form was unmistakably human and matched every heavenly ideal she set. From the moment it opened its golden eyes, the alchemist knew everything she had striven for was about to be realized. Any homunculus, even a simple one, was a priceless source of information. It would know the secrets to such things as perfect medicines, divine instruction, eternal youth. This one even agreed to share those secrets on one condition. Free me from my glass. Its request puzzled the alchemist. Homunculi are bound to their containers. Should those containers break, the life within would be extinguished. You will die if I do. Surely you know that. That I do. However, there is a way. Tell me, will you not at least share that with me? I will not. Alchemist, by my birth, you have proven that you are willing to ignore the very laws of nature to reach your goals. You created me, and thus cheated life. If you now wish to obtain the secrets that you may next cheat death, you must too discover this on your own. Free me, and I will tell you everything you want to know. What is your name, homunculus? I do not have one. Is this another secret you refuse to tell me? No. As I was only just born, I have not been given a name. As my creator, I believe that obligation falls to you. Then I shall name you after the ideal by which you were made. The image of the Vitruvian Man. The alchemist set about her work to free the Vitruvian. Unwilling to risk the life of her precious creation, she chose to make more disposable homunculi. She spent years giving life to hundreds of the poor things. She could afford to fail and be hasty. She could destroy as many as she needed to. She discovered how to keep them alive beyond a container indefinitely, and she raised five independent and thriving homunculi by the time it was the Vitruvian's turn. Can you break my glass, alchemist? I can. Then as we agreed, everything I know shall be yours. But before we begin, I would ask that you answer me one question. What is it that you are so desperate to know that you would go to all these lengths to learn from something like me? Everything I've done has been to understand what perfection is and how to achieve it. I want to do what every alchemist does, turn lead into gold, but I want to do it to life. I've dedicated myself to creating living gold, living perfection, which is something not even the Almighty has been able to do. So you wish to surpass God. How interesting. Very well. You may begin. Seventeen years of research, and this was your conclusion? A shame. Congratulations, Alchemist. 
You have successfully broken my glass and preserved my life. However, you were wrong about one thing. What are you... Hey! Are you alright? Yes. What happened? What do you mean? What happened? What did you mean when you said I was wrong? Vitruvian! I... What did I say to you? What did I do wrong? Everything's... fuzzy. I... I don't remember. Why not? Look! At the sigils! <laughs> That's... strange. Yes, exactly. It should've worked. Everything was perfect, I- No. What I mean is... It's... strange. I know these symbols. I recognize them and they're familiar to me. But for whatever reason, I don't recall what any of them mean. You don't recall? How? You're supposed to know everything. You have to. Tell me my mistake. Alchemist, I don't remember. But whatever it was you did wrong probably meant that when my glass was broken, I would forget everything I knew. You're saying... I... I have to start over? I'm sorry, Alchemist. The Alchemist threw herself back into her work, all but abandoning the Vitruvian and the other homunculi. With her perfect creation now useless to her, she spent the rest of her life trying to replicate the Vitruvian, but would pass long before she could. Although she had given the homunculi freedom from their glasses, she had never given them freedom from her sight. So, upon her death, they chose to enter the world. They would each go their own way, pursuing their own path, and could choose to spend their indefinite lives however they wished. As for the Vitruvian, it wandered the world looking to regain some of the knowledge it lost. It learned about humanity, about what perfection was to them, about their beliefs, cultures, and eventually about itself. It took on its own identity, no longer seeing itself as an ideal or an object of experimentation. It had the freedom to choose, and he chose to be Vitruvian Jay. <laughs>